Hey guys, welcome back to Jarvis and Audio Solutions. Today we're going to jump into a brand new technical video. Yes, it's been a minute since I did a technical video, so I'm going to make this uh, straight to the point as possible. So before you, we see Kali Linux. And so the first thing I'm going to do in here is uh, open up my terminal and I'm going to tell you what we're doing. We're going to go ahead and we're going to go through uh, Greenbone Vulnerability Scanner. And uh, the reason why Greenbone is important is because it gives you a free open source tool to use to scan for vulnerabilities on your network. Um, for your for your one man shops, it might not be as relevant. But but if you have a small business that has you know a number of computers, a server, um, you know something like that, then this would be very helpful for you to learn what security holes are possibly on your network. So anyway, we're going to jump straight into it. And there is a lot of waiting on this, so feel free to skip ahead in the video. Uh, the first part is downloading it, the second part is uh, running the script to configure it. And then uh, again, you might be able to, you might have to skip through some because it takes it a minute to fully download all the vulnerability databases so that you can run your first scan. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and sudo sue, and then I'm gonna actually do a quick network scan so you can see what I'm doing here with which network. So we're gonna do an nmap and now I'm gonna do 192. Oop, that is not 192. My numlock was off. 192.168.57.0 slash 24. And then we're gonna do a tack SN to make this fast. And then while that's running, I'm gonna go ahead and open up a vertical terminal so that we're not sitting here waiting on that to finish. Wow, that was fast. So here's all of our components right here. And so we, uh, here's some of the IPs that we'll probably be scanning so that we can get an idea of what's going on. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing over here, so to sue. And then we're going to go ahead and do apt install. And you can see where I installed it before, but then I uninstalled it so that we can go to this video together. So you're going to do GBM wildcard tack Y. So that wildcard is going to grab everything that is GBM related in this case. And again, this is going to take just a minute, and I did attack while I ended that, so it's not going to ask me, it's just going to run through everything. And this is the part, this is one of the parts that takes forever to do. So feel free to skip ahead if you need to. And also to another another little mention to have is make sure that you have a fully up to date Linux box or a Kali box in this case. Um, and, and I'm not sure who knows and who doesn't know it, but you can just do the apt update. Um, apt is the new way of doing things that apt get from what I've heard. So just remember that. All right, so this actually took uh, not as much time as I thought it was gonna take, but this next command is going to take more time. So you do GVM tech setup and hit enter. And it's going to start running that script so that it basically uh, starts configuring all the components that are needed for Greenbone. All right, guys, I'm going to pause the video here and I'm going to pick it up whenever this is done running because this is actually going to take a while. Hey, guys, so we're picking up uh, right up where we left off at earlier. And um, before I stopped the video a minute ago, I started running the JVM tech setup script, and that basically put all this stuff over here and it started doing everything with uh, downloading the vulnerability databases and setting everything up. So essentially whenever it gets done, what you should see here is something like this. Uh, in, in my case right here, it says user already exists. That's because I uninstalled it and then I'm reinstalling it for this lab. But essentially that admin is already created. And luckily I saved the password that it generated. But anyway, this password should be over here on this screen whenever you're done with your initial setup. So I just wanna make that known before we continue. Anyway, so your username is going to be admin, and then this is going to be your password or whatever it spits out to you. All right, and then the first thing you should do after you're done with that is uh, you can check the status of it. I was, I was over here kind of messing around a minute ago. But so I checked the status of it. It said it was inactive, and then so I went ahead and did a start Greenbone Security Assistant, and now it's actively running. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is go to the web browser. It might take a minute to open. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is go to HTTPS colon four slash four slash, and then we're going to do the home address of 127.0.0.1, .0 .0 and then we're going to do 9392. That's the default port for this. 
and then it popped me right in there but what it should do is because i had already logged into it a minute ago but what it should do is bring you here to this and so your admin password or your admin is going to be your username and then the password is going to be the one that should be over here but like i said it's been mine out over here so i'm going to copy that and now i'm going to paste it in here and then it's going to let me right in all right so the first thing it's going to do is bring you in here and then it's going to, this is going to show your dashboard and so this is all the different mvt severities so the the critical or the high ones is what we're most worried about most of the time yes you should pay attention to the lows and the mediums but the high is what we need to worry about on, in in most cases so the first thing i need to do is come over here to administration and feed status and mine's still in the update in progress um i don't know why it's still that way it's been sitting here for a while but anyway so that, that right there will eventually turn to current. The status will be current uh, or might be a day or two behind depending on when the last time they updated the MV, uh, the um, vulnerability databases. But uh, so this right here should be current and this uh, update in, in progress is fine. It'll eventually go away. But the first, uh, another thing you wanna do is come over to the scans and tasks. And there's two ways to do this. You can either do a quick scan, which is you hit task wizard and you just throw in an IP right here or you can go over here to the uh, to the other little button that says new task. And this is right here is where you can basically set up all the, the details of what, the, what you want the scan to do. So for the, you know, obviously the name is just name. The scan targets, that's where you specify your IPs or your host names. Uh, the alerts, you can set it up to where it will send you an email notification and we'll go over that in another video. But you can set up email notifications whenever a scan is done. Uh, the schedule, self-explanatory, you can schedule to run any, any day of the week or, or a month or a year or whatever you want to do. And then you can come in here and change these other little details too if you want to. I typically don't mess with this stuff. I leave all this the same and I typically just change this stuff. All right, so I'm going to cancel this and I'm just going to go ahead and start a quick scan. All right, so go ahead and, and do this right here. If you're, depending on what network you're on, I, I would not, first and foremost, I would not do this on a production network during business hours. I, I would do this after business hours. Um, and this is with the approval of your, your business owner, whoever you're working for, if you're an IT professional or cybersecurity professional. But since this is a lab, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. So this is my, net, my lab network right here, and we're gonna go ahead and start scan. And this is going to go into the requested status, and then it's going to go into a queued status, and then it's going to start running. So we're going to let that roll right now. And then we're going to go, and I'm going to show you a few more things. So under configuration, this is what all should be downloaded whenever you run that configuration script. So here is the target IPs. I ran on this 103 earlier, so that's why that's sitting there. But this should be all your target IPs that you have set up. And then you have port list that should be downloaded. And, and I'm going over this a little bit because in the past when I didn't wait long enough for the uh, script to finish running, all this was blank. And so the, the, uh, the scans wouldn't run right. And then you can also do credentialed scans. I don't have any credentials right now. And then there's the scan, scan configs. And so right now we're using the full and fast scan config. So you can keep it on that or you can change it. And as you can see here, the log for shell vulnerability came out, uh, what, a couple months ago, something like that. And so uh, you can specifically scan for the log for shell vulnerability. And then again, you can configure alerts. So uh, like for example, with mine, every single time my, uh, my scans finish and uh, enter into a done status, I get an email notification with it. Sometimes it'll send me a PDF, uh, it depends on how big the PDF file is. And then schedules, yep, this is, this is where all your schedules will pop up whenever you give a specific task a scan time or a run time. And then here's your scanners, the CVE and the OpenVos default. And then I have never really messed with the other ones, so I usually just don't leave those alone. But anyway, so guys, I'm, I'm gonna stop it here because uh, I just wanted this to be a basic setup. So as a recap, we uh, went ahead and installed the GVM with the star component on it. So it, it installed everything that had GVM on the front of it. And then we ran the GVM tag setup script so that it went ahead and configured everything on the back end. And then after, as soon as that happened, we got an admin a username and a password. As soon as we plugged that in, it brought us over here to the dashboard. And then once all your MVTs download, or your feed status rather, when one of your feed status finishes updating, or if you wait a while, then you'll be able to jump in here and, and start running tasks. And Greenbone has, they have uh, documentation on all this stuff, so please refer to their website. And by, by the way, we're not being endorsed or sponsored by them, this is just for educational purposes. 
but hopefully this helped guys uh, if you liked it please like it share it comment on it if you have any questions or if i'm able to help with this please let me know but all right guys you have a good one and thank you for watching